Hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com. Welcome into this Adobe After Effects tutorial, where today we're going to talk about creating this lower third that you're seeing appear on the screen right now with this animating border that wraps so beautifully and elegantly around it. It's actually pretty easy to do in After Effects, and if you're not very familiar with how it works, well, I think you might just like this tutorial. And speaking of liking this tutorial, if you do enjoy it, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you never miss any After Effects or other video editing tutorials in the future. Let's jump into After Effects right now and check this thing out. All right, so I've got this composition here. You can really use any old composition. It can be any size you want, whatever. None of that really matters here. What matters is we're going to drag a video into here, and this is just this kind of cool body scan uh, situation that's happening here. Uh, so we're going to place that there. In fact, I'm going to lock this uh, layer just so we don't accidentally move or damage or select it or anything like that as we move through this process. And then what I'm going to do is grab my text tool right up here up top, and I'm going to click out here, and I'm going to type a uh, human anatomy. There we go. We go. If you're curious, I'm using the Futura medium font at 45 pixels in terms of size, and it is filled with the color white. I'm going to grab my move tool, and we're going to move this uh, right here. So this is going to be part of our lower third. Now what we want to do is make sure we've deselected all of our layers, and we will grab our little rectangle tool here, and we'll draw a rectangle out around this text. So I'm going to drag a rectangle maybe like that, but we want this to have a fill. So I'm going to select stroke here, and, well I'm going to hit cancel, I'm going to select the word stroke, and I am going to choose to cancel out the stroke. We don't want a stroke, we just want a fill. And then with the fill, I'm going to bring this up, I'm going to use the eyedropper here. And I'm going to sample like a, a nice light blue off of the foot. But I kind of actually, I think I kind of like the light blue that we had there. So I'm going to go with something like that off the foot. Very similar to what, what, what uh, After Effects is going to use anyway. We're going to hit OK. And we now have that uh, box or that rectangle. But you can see it is covering up our text because the shape layer is above our text layer. So first and foremost, drag it beneath the text layer. But also, we want to align the text to the very center of this rectangle. So we're just going to drag out a selection over both of those shapes. This is another reason why it's good that we locked the background video, because we can just drag out a selection. We're not going to select the video, just the text and the rectangle. And I'm going to come over here to my Align panel. If you don't have the Align panel open, you can go Window, Align. There we go. Align over here. And I'm going to choose to align the layers to the selection. And I'm going to align to the vertical and horizontal centers of the selection, therefore aligning that rectangle with the text just perfectly. So this is kind of the basis of our lower third. This is what's going to appear as it explains human anatomy and we see this wireframe thing uh, animating. So let's open up this shape layer here. And you can see in the contents of the shape layer, we have a single rectangle. That's our blue rectangle. I'm going to right click on this blue rectangle or the, the rectangle one, I should say, and choose to rename it. And I'm going to call this inner fill. This is going to help us keep track of what's going on here. And then I can just hit command or control D to deselect, or not deselect, I'm thinking Photoshop, to duplicate, command or control D to duplicate. Right click on this and we're going to choose rename. And I'm going to call this outer stroke. And now outer stroke, I am going to, well, I'm not going to do anything with it quite yet. Certainly not in terms of moving it. What I want to do is add a stroke to it. If I open this up, we can see that there is a fill, but there's also the option to turn a stroke on. So let's turn the stroke on. We can see, hey, look at that. We do. We got a white stroke. We got our stroke options up here. What if I increase the size of the stroke? All right, yeah, I go up to 60 pixels. We've got a ridiculously huge stroke. I'm going to set it back to five. We'll mess with this in just a second. What we need to do here is somehow get this white stroke to be bumped 5 or 10 pixels to the outside part of our blue uh, lower third. Or really, this will be more of a call out title, I should say. So what we'll do, first and foremost, we're going to shut off the fill. Well, you know what, let's not shut off the fill because I want you to see what's happening here. Let's come over here to this little add. This is what's, what are called path operators. I'm going to select that and I am going to choose offset paths, just like that. It's going to add this offset path. I'm going to open up offset paths. I'm going to say make the amount like 15. Let's go a little bit more extreme. The problem is it just looks like it's making our shape bigger, which it is. but we can't see the differentiation between our inner and our inner fill and the outer stroke because number 1 our outer stroke has this fill if we get rid of the fill all of a sudden we can see that we now have a stroke that is perfectly offset outside of that inner fill so if you understand what's going on here this outer stroke is just that outer stroke it's carrying just the stroke that is being offset 15 pixels outside of the original shape and then the inner fill is the blue shape that's remaining in the center. So that's exactly what's happening here. Now what we need to do is animate this stroke so it kind of zips around our inner fill. 
And we're going to do this by selecting outer stroke and going back to path operators. And we are going to add what's called trim paths. You see that right there, trim paths. So there we go. We've got offset paths, but we also have trim paths. Let's open up trim paths. Look at this. We have this start and end option. Start is at zero, end is at 100. If I just move end back, look at what it's, look at what's happening. Isn't that really cool? Now this has this little stopwatch icon. So this is key frameable, which means it's animatable. Uh, so what we'll do here is let's say we'll we'll make this animate over the course of about a second, right? So the playhead is at about one second. What I'll do is I will click the stopwatch to begin the keyframing right there. And then I'll simply move all the way back to the beginning and I'll set the end to 0%. So what we can do now is if we play through this, you'll see that we get this just zip wrapping right up and around our little callout title. Now, what you may be saying, what if I want my animation not to begin at this little corner, but somewhere else? Well, we have this little offset option. So if I, I'm just going to move my animation here kind of to the middle. The offset, we're not animating that, but if I hover over that, you can see I can move the offset so I could begin the animation like right up there in the top corner. And you can see that's actually 180 degrees. So now if I were to play through this, the animation would begin at that top left corner. Very cool. So you can really choose where you want the animation to begin and end, and therefore end just by toggling and playing with the little offset option there. So at this point, we can collapse trim paths real quick. We can open up inner fill and we could select the fill. And I don't think we want to necessarily change any or animate any of the parameters in there. Maybe we go to the rectangle path and we could animate this over the course of a second as well. So we could say unlock the uh, constraining of proportions here and we'll set the horizontal size to zero. Hit the tab key and actually I want to undo that because we want to we want to keyframe this at its finished state right here. So we'll actually click on the stopwatch to keyframe it there and then move back to the very beginning and then we'll set the width here to zero. And now what we're going to have is our, our, our animation. You can see what it's doing basically moving out from the, the very middle while that path is going to be wrapping around the outside. Very cool. And to make this a little bit smoother, we could just drag a selection over these two keyframes, right click on them. Make sure you actually right click right on the keyframes. There we go. And we can go keyframe assistant. We can go like, oh, let's go with an easy ease in for this. And now we'll just get a nice, smooth, beautiful animation. By the way, we could easy, uh, easy ease in or easy ease out the trim paths as well. We can just select that right click directly on the keyframe, keyframe assistant, and we can go easy ease in for that as well. And we could just play through this here and see that we get just a nice, beautiful, smooth animation. And of course, you could fade the text in and do all kinds of stuff with that. That's not necessarily the point of this tutorial. This tutorial was just about getting that nice little animated path thing moving around your call out tags, your call out titles, whatever you want to call them. It's a really effective, cool little trick here in After Effects. It's super easy to do. Once you do it a time or two, it's just going to be like, boom, oh, this is a piece of cake. So for creating the animated stroke that's offset so perfectly from your little call out title in Adobe After Effects, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.